Hey, Hayden. Congratulations on getting married. I'm genuinely thrilled for you. I can't contain my excitement for the wedding either. Julia, thanks a million. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting to introduce you to the girl I'm about to marry, but timing has been a pain in the neck. You know how it goes. But hey, if there's any chance for you two to meet, even if it's just for a quick hangout before the big day, that would be awesome. You don't have to stress about it. I totally get it. I've been occupied working abroad, and the time difference has made it hard for me and your fiancé to connect. But hey, I trust your judgment, bro. If she's the one you've chosen, she must be an incredible catch. You really think so? Man, I hope I'm not screwing this up. Marriage was never really on my radar, you know? I've been doing just fine flying solo all these years. The idea of making this huge commitment never crossed my mind. It's crazy how life throws you curveballs like that. But hey, maybe it's time for a new adventure, right? Hey, you good? <laughs> Suddenly feeling all jittery, huh? Don't worry. It's totally normal to get nervous or have doubts before making a big decision like this. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm fine though. Camila, was it? Tell me a bit about her. I'm really excited. Man, she's a total babe. And she's killing it in her career too. You met her through work, right? Oh, we crossed paths when our companies were doing business together. Gotta say, she seems like a solid person. Otherwise, I wouldn't even consider getting married with her. But gotta be real with you. There are a few moments that make me a tad worried sometimes. Worried? What's got you all worked up? I thought you'd be over the moon now that the wedding day's set and everything. But I get it. There's a whole bunch of stuff swirling around in your head, right? No worries, bro. I got your back. I might not be able to do much, but I'm here to lend an ear if that's what you need. Can you believe it? I'm actually turning to my baby sis, who's a whole decade younger than me, for love advice. <laughs> but you know what? When I said worried, I guess I didn't explain it right. It's actually her who gets hella worried about me, not the other way around. Crazy, right? Oh, for real? I get it now. You just want to brag about how crazy she is about you, huh? Haha! <laughs> I see you! Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, man. It's not about bragging at all. I mean, you probably already know this since we're family. But I've been alone and single all this time until I met her. And let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. Plus, to make matters worse, I went to an old boy's private school. So my girl skills were non-existent. College wasn't any better. Always chilling with the engineering crew. I never really learned how to talk to girls, you know? Yeah, now that you bring it up, I never really saw you as the guy who would go on and on about girls. You've always been more low-key about that stuff. Yep, but now, Camila is all worried. Worried about what? Like, uh, that I might be cheating on her or something like that? No way, man. Out of all the people I've come across, you're the absolute last person I'd expect to cheat. Like, seriously? What on earth could have given her that crazy idea? It's just too damn hilarious. I can't even. All right, all right. Enough with the laughter. Let's shift gears and focus on resolving the problem at hand, all right? I just can't wrap my head around where she got this crazy idea of you cheating. It's a straight up impossible for someone as loyal as you. Do you have any clue why she suddenly started freaking out like this? Yeah, I get it. I could never pull off something like that, you know. But she happened to catch me chatting with another girl at work. It was honestly just a harmless conversation. But she totally lost it and went into a rage. I couldn't do anything to calm her down. That's when I started getting a bit concerned about our relationship. I can't believe she got so mad over a mere conversation. It's just work for crying out loud. What did she think was going to happen? You can't possibly avoid talking to other colleagues just because they happen to be of the opposite sex. Well, to be honest, it's not a huge deal. 
Apart from that one hiccup, everything has been pretty awesome. I just gotta be careful not to let her catch me chatting with other girls at work. Haha. <laughs> so basically, you just wanted to show off about your relationship, huh? Oh man, give me a break. <laughs> Thanks, Hayden. What an amazing story. Now I'm all pumped up and want a relationship too. Slow down. You don't need a boyfriend just yet. Uh, excuse me, but I'm already 27, you know? I'm ready to find someone and settle down soon. Anyway, I'm stoked that you're happy and everything's going great for you. Can't wait for the wedding. I'll catch you there. Oh, look at you, trying to snatch my man. <laughs> That's what you get, loser. Oh, by the way, go straight to hell. If you think this is the end, you're dead wrong. I'm gonna make your life a living nightmare. Better start trembling, cause I'm coming for you. Hey. Hold up a second. Is this Camila? What's happening? I'm totally confused here. Can you fill me in? Oh, isn't this just lovely? You have the audacity to sneak into my fiance's bedroom right before her damn wedding. I've had it up to here with your crap. If you dare to keep pushing, mark my words, you will regret it big time. You pathetic skank, the least you could have done was show some decency and think about the timing of your little escapade. Are you actively trying to ruin our wedding, huh? Is that what gives you satisfaction? And as for your delusion that you can get Hayden back now, well, you're in for a rude awakening, sweetheart. Hold your horses for a moment. Take a deep breath and try to calm down. Honestly? I'm completely lost here. I can't make heads or tails of what you're saying. The whole situation seems like a colossal misunderstanding. By the way, I'm currently at the hospital getting treated. My face is a mess and I can barely manage to type these messages right now. Why on earth would you do something so cruel? I've never done a damn thing to deserve this treatment from you. You must feel real tough after getting your ass handed to you by five girls, huh? <laughs> Spare me the act of playing innocent. That's the kind of treatment you deserve. You're nothing but a pathetic excuse for a human being, and you can rot in hell where you truly belong. I seriously don't get it. What in the heck is going on? Hayden, I really think you should back out of the wedding. Your fiance is out of her mind. You need to reconsider. Wait, hold up. It's the big day of the wedding. What's with this sudden change of heart? <laughs> I get it. You've got those butterflies in your stomach, huh? No worries. I think you're just as nervous as I am. After all, it's pretty emotional watching your own brother getting married. I'm serious here. Please listen to what I'm trying to say. Honestly, I'm still trying to gather myself and make sense of what just went down. I have more pressing matters to attend to, sis. For instance, the paper containing my wedding speech that I ask you to collect. With all the relatives arriving, I truly appreciate your offer to pick them up from my house. However, it seems like you're taking quite a while. Is everything alright? If you've already found it in the bedside table drawer, could you please photograph the speech and send it to my phone? I really need to review it before delivering my speech at the wedding. I'm at the hospital right now. At the hospital? What happened? I'll send you the address at the hospital. So please bring mom and come quickly. Hey. So you're Camilla, huh? Just letting you know, I'm totally awake and aware now. I gotta say, you really went all out and broke my face. Healing this is gonna be a long haul, no doubt. I'm curious though, 
How exactly do you plan on stepping up and taking responsibility for wrecking me like this? Responsibility? Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. Tell me, sweetie, how on earth do you plan to grow a spine and actually take responsibility for the colossal mess you started? Hold on a second. What exactly do you think I should take responsibility for? You're the one who inflicted this horrendous damage to my face. And now you have the nerve to demand that I take responsibility? Well, aren't you lucky to still be breathing? <laughs> Listen up. If you dare to steal Hayden from me, mark my words, you'll pay a price way steeper than just your precious little face. Oh, so I should steal Hayden from you? Why on earth would I do that? You didn't even give me a chance to speak before you caused your friends to pummel me senseless. I didn't do a damn thing to deserve being brutally attacked like that. Oh, look, who's still trying to play innocent? You think you can hide the fact that you've been sneaking around cheating with Hayden behind my back? A <laughs> nice try, but I'm not buying your pathetic lies. Whoa, hold up. Where the heck are you conjuring up these wild ideas from? Seriously? I have no clue what you're talking about. Spill the beans and explain yourself. Because this is some next level imagination you've got going on. Oh, and you pulled the stunt even on the day of my damn wedding? Do you even possess a functioning brain inside a thick skull of yours? Who in the right mind would pull off something so unbelievably moronic? It's beyond comprehension. No way. It's unbelievable how you can just jump to conclusions like that. Hayden wasn't even with me for crying out loud. And you don't trust Hayden at all? I mean, you're getting married, right? Shouldn't that count for something? I've struck gold with a wealthy man this time. Do you honestly believe I slept him through my fingers that easily? Sure, you may be younger than me, but let's be real. You're not exactly a head turner. I can't fathom what on earth Hayden saw in you, but mark my words, I won't let you have him. You've got to be kidding me. You won't even give me a chance to explain anything, will you? <laughs> wow, you really have it all figured out, don't you? I couldn't care less about whatever pathetic excuses a cheater like you has to offer. And guess what? There's nothing in it for me anymore. Hayden and I are tying the knot, and that's the end of the story. Finally, I'll settle down with a guy who's actually made something of himself. Someone who can provide stability in my life. Hayden will make a fine husband and loyal lapdog, obediently hanging on to my every word. I finally found the perfect match for myself. So, do you honestly believe some insignificant affair with the likes of you could ever stop me? Ha, huh, dream on. Hey, can you please just hit the pause button on all these ridiculous illusions for a moment? and actually listen to what I have to say? Well, 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 what do you want now, huh? Let me make this crystal clear. I'm not the one at fault here. I don't regret a damn thing I did. You had it coming, plain and simple. You think you could sleep with my Hayden and get away with just a slap on the wrist? Oh, so you broke your face? Cry me a river. Consider yourself lucky that a punch in the face was all that happened to you this time. I'm Hayden's sister, damn it. I can't believe you'd go around randomly attacking people without even bothering to verify their identity first. How reckless and thoughtless can you be? What? His sister? Now that you know that, you still don't regret what you did? Wait, are you seriously his sister? This morning, my brother asked to swing by my place and grab a few things for him. That's why I was there, in case you were wondering. Little did I know that I'd end up in the hospital with these injuries. It's not like I planned for this to happen, you know? Hayden's little sister? Uh, My brother, the groom, showed up at the wedding venue only to realize that he left the wedding speech at home. That's why he asked me to rush to his house, find that paper with the speech, and take a picture of it. To think I'd end up like this, with my face practically unrecognizable, honestly, I'm at a loss for words right now. You're really his sister. I mean, you look way too young. How can you be his sister? You guys must be years apart. 
It can't be. It just can't be. <laughs> no way this is happening. We're 10 years apart. But does that matter? You think you make some excuse with something like that? So just making sure you're Hayden's sister. No mistake. You, you're Julia, right? Oh, so you're finally realizing your monumental lack of basic common sense? You knew damn well that Hayden had a younger sister. And it never even crossed your mind for a second that the girl at his house could be family? It's not rocket science. You could have spared a single moment to ask who I was before unleashing your senseless assault. But no, that would have required a modicum of intelligence, wouldn't it? I mean, I... I wasn't thinking straight. Believe me, I didn't mean it at all. And now you're going to pay the consequences. My brother and my parents are on their way to the hospital. What? Why? We need to get ready for the wedding. How's the wedding supposed to happen if Hayden is gone? Is that why he hasn't answered his phone? Is that all you care about now? I'm at the hospital because of you. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's totally my bad. No doubt about it. But what can I do to fix things? I never in a million years intended to hurt Hayden's little sister. How was I supposed to know it was her? It was just one of those moments where I made a small error in judgment, you know? I didn't have all the facts and things went haywire. But trust me, I didn't set out to cause any harm. It was just an unfortunate mix-up plain and simple. I gotta say, things aren't looking too good for you. It's too late now to do anything to make up for what you did. No matter how you look at it, what you did counts as criminal behavior. And what were your friends thinking? Did they think they would just get away with ganging up on a young girl like that? Put yourself in our shoes. The bride and all the bridesmaids are headed to the wedding venue. We stopped by at a groom's house to say hello and find some woman standing in his bedroom. I saw red. Of course, my friends were going to help me out. It was messed up and they all have my back. That's why they are my bridesmaids. Sure, but even in the middle of the whole fiasco, your friends tried to stop you when they saw how far you were going. Everyone knew you were going overboard. There was no need for you to do so much damage under any circumstance. You need to pay for the hospital bills. All right, all right, I'll cough up the dough. No problemo, I'll pay for the damages, no questions asked. Once Hayden and I are married, money won't be an issue anymore. I'll have stacks on stacks to cover all your medical bills without breaking a sweat. So don't you worry about a thing. It's all going to be taken care of. But here's the deal. Do me a solid and keep this whole incident under wraps, okay? We don't need to spill the beans to Hayden, not a chance. He kind find out that it was yours truly who caused all the havoc and mess up your face. Let's just keep this between us, capiche? Are you freaking serious? So you want me to lie and say some random person broke into the house and started beating me up for no reason? No one would believe such nonsense. And you're the only other person with the keys to my brother's house. Oh no! Please don't tell me you already told Hayden! Of course I told him! My brother is done with you. How could you tell him? The wedding is today for crying out loud. What am I supposed to do now? The ceremony is supposed to start soon. How could this be happening? Honestly, there's no one and nothing to blame but yourself. And why would you think my brother is cheating on you in the first place? My brother is such a trustworthy guy with a good head on his shoulders. You shouldn't even be considering marriage when you can't see such an obvious truth. I beg you, please, ask Hayden to call me so we can talk things out. Explain to him that it's not my fault. I'm sure you can make some things up. You are his little sister, right? That's the least you can do. Don't you want to fix this mess? You're just a violent criminal to me. I have no intention of saving you here. You don't deserve my help and I won't lie to my brother. I don't want him marrying someone like you either. Please, don't do this to me. We can work this out. I'm going to be getting the police involved. You won't be getting away with this. It doesn't matter what you say at this point. I won't be changing my mind. The police? You don't have to go that far. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? What did I do that was so wrong? You assaulted your fiancé's sister. That's what you did. You committed a crime. Uh, if you put that away, I guess you're not wrong, but... I don't know. 
If I know you were his sister, I wouldn't have done anything. You can't just get away with it for not knowing. You did the crime. Even if I was cheating, it would still be a crime. There isn't one good reason to act as violently as you did towards another person. Please, don't destroy my life like this. Isn't there any other way to solve this? You don't have to go to the police. You have to make sure to explain things to Hayden so he doesn't think badly of me. It's too late. I already explained the situation and my brother is furious. No, why would you do that? How could you? How could I? After you beat my face this badly? Of course things would turn out like this. Which side do you think my brother would take after seeing me like this? If you tried to lie to my brother, it would be too obvious. There's no way you can get away with this. My brother already saw all the damage that was done. Didn't I apologize already? We're going to be sister-in-law. Can't you help me out of here as a family? Please. That won't be happening. Huh? What do you mean by that? My brother knows your true colors now. And he's really angry about everything that's happened. The wedding is canceled. And your engagement? It's over. You're lying. There's no way. We were supposed to get our marriage registered after the ceremony. How can he just back out now? It's too late. This is ridiculous. I'll sue you guys. Why don't you just try? We'll be suing you as well. My brother has enough good reasons to. No way. What am I supposed to do then? You're violent and you don't listen to people. You jump to conclusions right away and cause trouble for others. I'm so glad my brother isn't marrying someone like you. And I'm glad I won't have to consider you my family either. This is all a misunderstanding. That's not who I am. Really, I'm not who you think I am. I just slip up this time. I'm not like this. You know, it's the day of the wedding and I was feeling really nervous. Yeah, like pre-wedding jitters. You expect me to believe that the jitters are what caused you to punch me in the face? <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad all this happened. Sure, it was painful, but we were able to find out about you before you guys got married. I'm relieved. Oh, I'll be asking for compensation money for all the days I won't be able to go to work as well. How about the wedding? Are you serious? Hayden and your parents are at the hospital, right? How about the wedding? What am I supposed to do now? Wow. You really can only think about yourself. No shame, huh? They'll probably get a call from my brother soon. The wedding is canceled. Like I said, my brother has already started contacting all the guests to tell them the news. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Please, save me. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean for this to happen. Please, help me out here. I really want to get married. I beg you. You brought this on yourself. You should think twice before acting violently next time. But I doubt anyone would consider getting married to you after this, huh? Have fun living a lonely life. In the end, the wedding plans came crashing down. Camilla, desperate for forgiveness, went to Hayden on her knees, tears streaming down her face. However, Hayden wasted no time in ending the engagement without a second thought. After all, what kind of big brother would forgive someone for causing such severe damage to their little sister's face? We promptly reported Camilla to the police leading to her having to bear the burden of paying the hospital bills and other compensation fees. On top of that, she had to cover the hefty cancellation fees for the wedding. As a result, every last penny she had saved up went down the drain. Not only that, but we also reported Camila's bridesmaids to the authorities as they were involved in this messy situation. Understandably, they were furious with Camila for dragging them into such a predicament. They made the decision to sever ties with her, leaving Camilla completely on her own. To make matters worse, even her employer discovered her crime and wasted no time in terminating her employment. Camilla lost her job, her fiance, and her friends. It's a harsh lesson, 
But this is what happens when you let impulsive and temporary emotions like anger dictate your actions. Hopefully, this experience serves as a wake-up call for Camila.